Okay. So good morning to some of you. It's chilly where you are. So take the hands and rub them together. I'm gonna to bring this up a little bit higher, just a wee bit higher so you can get my whole body in there. Okay, so we're creating a little friction, a little heat, a little chi in your palms. And we're gonna bring it to different parts of the body. So start with your thighs, really warm up your thighs. The knees are bent and my spine is long. I'm not rounding the spine, I'm bending at the claw. And then give good chi to the knees. And the shin bones, warm up your shins. And the calf muscles from behind. Get the soft spot under the knees, behind the knees, and find the ligaments and massage them a bit. And then behind the thighs. And slowly come up and scratch your back like a bear, scratching his back against a tree, get all the nerve endings. Just let your hands bring good chi to all parts. And the side of the ribs to dab out, strengthen the heart center of the immune system. And then we're gonna give good chi to the groin lymphatic system, the qua. And then we come to the lower belly and smile. The smiling has such a profound effect on the functioning of our organs. So we're breathing into the lower dantian, meaning field of energy, the lower belly, smiling within. And then we're going to come to the heart center, smiling into your heart, unconditional love and joy, passion and compassion for others. Wishing everyone happy holidays, happy Passover, happy Easter. Just sending love to your family who you will see or not see, but we can still send them love. Then your right hand to the left shoulder. We're going to get the collar there and uh, left hand under the left rib. And we're just breathing into Trepan and Chihu, that collarbone area, the Chi door to your lungs. And go to the other side. So we're getting Trepan and Chihu, the Chi door to your lungs and smiling, breathing. Then take your right hand, open the left shoulder, give yourself a pat on the back for turning on Zoom, joining your classmates. Lift the elbow, get underneath the shoulder blade, getting Gawang and Feishu. And then we push back and we stack the energy out of the body, fingers wide open. The left hand up and over the shoulder, give yourself a pat on the back, lift up harder with the elbow and get underneath the shoulder blade, getting Gawang and Feishu. And push back, fingers wide open. Really swing those arms and feel the chest open and any stagnant energy behind you. Then we're going to just stand for a moment and notice how you feel. Notice your breathing. See if it's a little fuller. So those warming up the chi door to your lungs. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take the feet a little wider, soften the knees as we let the arms go from side to side. And we're going to fling out any tension, any worry, any stagnation, anything that does not serve you, let it go right now. Hopefully by now you've all had your shots or most of them. So we can let go of some of that fear. And give yourselves that again pat on the back for coming out today, taking care of your body, mind, spirit. We all deserve this pat on the back. And let the motion subside and see if you feel a little buzz, a little energy in the arms, soften the knees and gather a basket of unconditional love and spring flowers for a holiday table. And looking forward, you're looking at one hand and the back hand is giving chi to the front hand, but keep the gaze at the front hand. Then hold the basket to the other side. Looking at the other palm, the back hand is giving chi to the front hand. Then we release the basket, pick it up on the other side, and release, release. We have a song, love is something if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Love is something if you give it away, it comes right back to you. And stand and feel your body a little more alive. Lovely. 
Soften both knees, thumbs up her middle finger like a kitten. Wipe your whiskers and groom from behind. Let yourself curl like a kitty cat. So we look at the earth, knees are bent, and we open the heart to the heaven. Make sure I'm on your main screen so you can see, instead of looking at all of your classmates, make sure I'm the one you're looking at. You can really see what we're doing. And then come up right and feel the inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. And let's let the weight go forward on the balls of the foot and back to the heels. So we're just going to rock gently forward and back. Forward and back, just massaging the bottoms of the feet. And come center. And then we're going to roll to the outside and to the inside, rolling out and rolling in gently, not putting pressure on your knees. And then find the middle so you're really balanced between the front, back, forward, and back. Good. So the feet are rooted, and we're going to soften the knees and visualize energy rising from the earth. You are a healthy tree with roots to depth of your height. Let the energy rise from the roots through the trunk of the tree. To the top of the tree as you breathe in and on the breath out, your tree blossoms like my beautiful fruit trees are beginning to bloom, my apple and pear trees. So we're going to breathe in as energy rises from the earth and breathe out. Let your tree expand and flourish. When a tree blossoms, it's at the peak of its energy. Let yourself enjoy that peaking of life, spring energy. And then we're going to reverse. Arms go out and up, relax the shoulders, shoulders are down, and we're going to visualize beyond the ceiling, beyond the blue sky, beyond the sun, the moon, and the stars as infinite energy is pure healing light. Slowly pour this light into your own body. For the hands face, it illuminates that part of the body. Dissolving tension, dissolving blockage, Dissolving dis-ease and diseases out of your body, down the legs, into the earth and roots below. And again, the arms going to float up, shoulders are down as the arms come up. And as we connect with this infinite source of healing energy, visualize all of your loved ones receiving this healing light and unconditional love. As you receive, they receive, illuminating every cell your own breath rhythm, your own timing. If there's an area of discomfort, take an extra breath, shining the light on that part of your body. And one more time, as we connect to this infinite source, let's visualize all beings on the planet receiving this healing spring energy. Everything that breathes receives healing, protection, love. Lovely. Feeling the inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Now bring the feet together if you're able. If you need it wider for balance, do so. Put the middle finger at the small of the back. Our feet are rooted. And we're going to allow the tree to dance in the breeze. So please keep the feet wider if you need it for balance. And then up and down along the small of the back. And back and forth along the waist, really keep the kidneys warm and go the other direction. So our tree's gently flowing in the breeze. And then one hand over the heart, the other hand over there. We're going to smile into your heart. Just smiling has a profound effect on the functioning of your organs. Now open your feet shoulder hip with distance 
and the hands are on the hips. So when you come on the ball of the foot, you're gonna feel where the hip goes into the socket at one TL. So you wanna know where that joint is. And then you place the palm over the joint at one TL, soften the knees, feet are rooted. And now when the hips are forward weights on the toes, hips to the side weight and the side foot, hips to the back weight on the heels. So now we're allowing the weight to move on the feet. So you're just letting everything flow from the feet to the ankles, to the knees, to the hips, all the vertebrae of the spine, shoulders, elbows, wrists, finger, neck, and jaw. Everything is fluid, total fluidity. We're made up of about 80% water. So let your water flow freely. We don't want our water to freeze and we don't want it to be too hot so it evaporates away. We want it to flow at a nice temperature where everything feels good. Then drop the tail massage so the healing palms give good chi where you need it. One chi out on the tail, just really give good chi to those areas. Come back to one chi out and now with the feet rooted Balance front, back, in and out, soften these. We go the other direction. So now we will not move the weight to the toes and the heels and inside, outside. The feet will stay rooted like your healthy tree, healthy roots, so the rest of your body can flow free. Then drop your tail on the side. And standing grace, hug his smile. You feel that life force flowing through you. Lovely. Now, bring the feet again closer together if you're able and put the middle finger in the navel. And so you go in and up like a hanger, lift up the core and we're gonna breathe in the belly. So the belly's lifted, but we're breathing into it. We don't hold the breath. We don't lift our shoulders either. And then from here, you're going to bend at the quads, soft knees and a long spine, bending here, opening, lifting the core, the core, hands on the knees. So there's no weight in the knees. Now, if you were to let the core go, what happens? The weight falls on the knees. So bring it back into the core, breathe in the belly and circle the knees gently. Keep breathing. And massage the knees. And go the other direction. And massage the knees. And if you're able to, as you hug the inner thighs, lift the heels quarter of an inch and circle to the right. So we're massaging Yong Chen, the first point on the kidney meridian, the ball of the foot. If you can't lift the heels, that's okay. Then your Laogon palms go to watch you out and go down the outside. Hands on the knees, lift the core, go the other direction. And open your feet, shoulder, hip with distance, draw good shift the inside, the inside of the body. Then soften the knees, feel the feet rooted, the tail rooted, the core lifted, inner thighs high, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Just notice how you feel, notice the energy flowing through your body. Lovely, very nice. Now, we're going to allow the energy to rise from the earth, draw it up to the lower dantian, smiling. Breathing in the belly, smiling. Come to the heart center, shoulder blades kiss and everything's open here. Notice the breath flowing through your lungs. Third finger to the third eye, keep the shoulders down as you relax the mind, yin tang. Third finger to the crown at Bai Hui. Now interlace fingers giving more blood chi to the brain if you're able. Not everybody can do this. Turn the palms over and lift up, shoulders down, eyes stretch up. And with our knees bent, we're going to just tilt back towards the heaven. So I'm looking outside at the beautiful trees and wispy clouds in the sky. 
See the birds flying around, enjoying Mother Nature. And now I'm going to go to one side, as far as I can go to one side as I breathe out. Eyes looking at the interlaced fingers. And the other side. Feel that wonderful side stretch. And come center. We're going to unzip the zipper. Just go down the center. Touching down and out, whisking away tension, stress, negativity out, whisking it away, spring cleaning. I have lots of spring cleaning to do. And then standing grace, inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Now we're going to imagine bending palms face the earth, eyes face the earth. We're going to connect to earth chi. And the hands are going to draw the chi up like a magnet, bring it to the outside of your right foot and send it down with your mind. We're not bending yet. Then we imagine chi rising up, bring it to the other side and push down. Slide in the middle as we are upright. Now from the quad with the flat back, we're going to bend the knees. Feet are parallel, knees are parallel. We're going to bend to the earth, palms face the earth, eyes face the earth. The hands would draw chi up knee height, the outside of the right heel, press down. Draw chi up, the outside of the left heel, press down. Slide in the middle, and the head goes down as you roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice. Now we're going to roll down, head, shoulders, lift the core as the body rounds down. Get the wonderful stretch, gravity takes over. The hands will draw chi up out to the right heel. Draw chi up out to the left heel. Slide in the middle and circle down and out. Release any tension out of the body, just let it go. And hold on the elbows, bend the knees, and circle the elbows down and out. And the hands come to want you out. Slap from the hips towards the ankles. Then brush it down. Bend the knees, feel the feet rooted, the tail rooted. Lift the core, slowly come up vertebrae by vertebrae as we stand in grace, hug his smile. And feel more life energy in your body. Okay, looking good. Sit on the saddle of your horse all the way on one foot. Feel the energy rise from the earth through the body into the belly, into the other foot. So imagine it's like a rainbow and I'm going to bring a visual. So I want you to imagine energy rising up, turning and circling. So imagine your feet, your two feet, and energy rises up into the Dantian and pours into the other foot. So this is what you're imagining as you do this. So do your upright bear right now as you're doing this and feel the energy rise from the earth up through the rainbow into the Dantian into the other foot. But the body remains upright. It's more of a visual of the lower body. So we visualize the body is very upright, but I visualize the energy rising up into the Dantian and into the other foot for a rainbow bear. And if your knee hurts, then don't go so far. Be more gentle, but keep the head up. Keep your spine up. And the shoulder blades kiss each other. So the upper body is very upright, even though her lower body creates a rainbow. Now put all the weight on your left foot and your right heel touches the ground. And I'm going to fold at the quad and I'm the hands on the thighs. So I have a long spine and I'm over my left leg. My right leg is stretched. I get the calf muscle, the hamstring stretch. 
And then I'm gonna go over my right leg and I'm gonna warm that leg up as we relax the spine. Hands over the right leg, elongate the spine so my nose is over my second toe. Index fingers sink to the earth, thumb index middle fingers sink, 10 fingers send roots. And I'm going to visualize touching my toe, but most of you can at least touch your knee. If you can't touch the toe, imagine it or touch your knee. And then you're going to give love packs from one to your down. My right hand goes down the outside, my left hand comes up the inside, the inside brushing, whisking, and then come back parallel, come up vertebrae by vertebrae, standing all the way up. And you're going to feel lopsided. One side's more stretched than the other. So sit back on the saddle, all the way down your right leg, left heel, no weight. Um, I'm going to go over the right leg first, so I have a long spine, and I feel the stretch in the left leg. Then go over the left leg, the spine stays long as I warm that leg. My right knee is bent over my second toe, the right foot. Hands over the left knee, elongate the spine. My nose is over my second toe. Index fingers sink to the earth as roots. Thumb index middle finger stand roots and 10 finger stand roots. And we're going to visualize touching your toe. If you're able to easily do so, if not, imagine it or touch your knee, whatever is most comfortable for you. And then we give love pads from one to We're going to slap down, inner and outer leg. Left hand goes down the outside, right hand comes up the inside, the inside brushing, whisking, and bring the foot back parallel. Feel the feet rooted, the tail rooted, the core lifted, inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Nice. Hopefully you feel a little more balanced and stretched. You're looking good. So as we're sitting on the saddle of our horse, put all the weight on your left foot, hands at the small of the back or hold onto a chair because we're going to draw that right toe in and see if you can balance. If you need to hold on to something, please do so. And come back, step out, feel the foot rooted, knee is bent, and draw the other toe in. Hold on to something for balance if you need to. Lovely. Now as we step out again, this time as we come up, we're going to go across the body. Lift the knee up and step out. Other side, still hold on if you need to. And we're going to boot out your system. Anything that's negative, anything does not serve you in your life, let it go right now. No use holding on things that bog us down. And go higher. Really boot it out of your system. Really go across the body as it activates the lymphatic system. Shoulder blades kiss, chest is open. And then we're going to point the toe, start low. And then we go higher. We're all doing the can-can. Imagine all of us, Rockettes, Rockefeller Center. Here we are. Here we go. And stand in grace, hug his smile, and feel that buzz of chi through your body. I feel a lot more alive. I hope you certainly do. And as we sink back down in the saddle of our horse, Feet are rooted. We're going to allow the root energy again to rise from the earth to the lower belly and smile into the Dantian. Breathe into it. Slow breath. The belly expands. Come to the heart center, smiling into your heart, unconditional love. Then open your arms. We have a beautiful circle of 11 of us today. 11 of us holding the chi circle. So imagine next to you, about eight or 10 feet apart, our third finger connects energetically. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed, elbows are relaxed. Third finger connects energetically, knees are softly bent. So we're creating this beautiful circle. I see all of your bright faces. And the chi is flowing from our heart into the center of the circle, filling it with unconditional love and healing light. 
If there's someone you're caring for, imagine they're in the middle receiving this healing right now. You can always relax the shoulders and bring the elbows down more if it's painful. We're not looking for pain. Now visualize yourself standing in the middle basking and receiving. Then gather the chi back to yourself and hug it up. We all deserve unconditional love and healing light. And then open your heart again, all 10 fingers, soften the elbows, the knees, the shoulders. And now our 10 fingers are connected to your neighbors, all 11 of us. And we create this bright healing light, healing circle of energy. And as we connect with all life force and all living beings, we feel gratitude for all the blessings in our life, for bringing us here today, even on Zoom, on a beautiful spring day. Really feeling gratitude for all the blessings. And we're going to send healing blessings to all those that meet on this planet. Everything that breathes, receives. Then gather she back to yourself, embrace it. And just feel that gratitude. And we're gonna clap from behind and touch your shoulders if you're able. And stand in grace, hug his smile, and see if you feel more energy through your body. I certainly do. Now bring the feet together. You're going to take your right arm, and you're going to wrap it around your neck. You're going to take your left elbow, hooking the right elbow to the left side. Head turns to the right as your right hand tries to touch right. Your left hand faces left here. Lower the tail, lift the core, look over that right shoulder, looking towards the big full moon we had last week. And then push back, all tension being pushed away. Take your left arm and let it wrap around your neck. Take your right elbow underneath the elbow going to the right side. Head turns to the left. His left hand tries to touch left. Your right hand faces right here. Lower the tail, lift the core. Look over that left shoulder towards the full moon. Feel that spiral. This is a, a personal chiropractic adjustment. And push back, release. Nice. Now we're going to preen our wings from the fingertips up, palms wide open. And then we're going to really stack the energy out. And the other side, wide open, we're going to preen. And really stack the energy out. Now I want you to lunge on your left leg. Hips face that left leg, bend that right elbow. You're going to circle that right shoulder, forward, up, back, down. So the shoulder's moving forward, up, back, down, along the back, along the scapula. It's just sort of moving around. Really get a nice shoulder circle. Make it as easy as possible. Now lower the arm and the shoulder down. Keep the shoulder down as the arm goes up. Now, if you have shoulder problems, you may need to modify. So do what works for your body. Keep the breath flowing. And we're going to reverse. Bend the elbow, shoulder up to the ears, forward, down. Really feel the opening, loosening up any tension in that right shoulder. Then lengthen the arm down as the shoulder stays down. And we circle. And now left toe turns in toe to toe pigeon. Pivot on the right heel, you face out, hips face that right leg, bend that left elbow, circling the left shoulder, forward, up, back, down. Really get lots of movement in there. Release that frozen shoulder. Then lengthen the arm down and the shoulder down. Keep the shoulder down as you create a larger circle. It modifies you need to. And reverse, bend the elbow, shoulder up to the ear, really make a big circle. 
Then lengthen the arm down and slice there. Now keeping the chest facing the front leg, you're going to let the arms go from side to side. So I'm not moving the chest, the arms go around the chest, getting the shoulder and getting the small of the back of the kidney. Now I pivot on my right heel, toe in, then I pivot on the left heel and I turn the hips to the, towards the left leg. And again, the chest stays where it is, it's the arms going around, giving yourself that pat on the back that we all deserve. And step up and see if you feel more buzz, more life energy. Lovely, we're going to do our point. So if you'd like to sit down, um, I'm gonna show you closer up. You can stand or sit and I'm gonna take a drink of liquid right now. So do what you need to do for a moment. Okay, <sighs> so here we are. We're going to bring chi to different points, starting with opening up the bashi points, the devil's chi. Open your right hand and the left hand. The right hand touches the left fingers, following the fingers along the wrist, flattening the wrist out. And this is called the bashi points. It's releasing stagnant energy that gets caught in the webbing of your fingers and in the hands and the joints. So as we're releasing the bashi points, the devil's chi out. And the other side, the left hand touches the right hand following the fingers and goes through the webbing, ironing out the wrist so it's straight. Okay, then you come to the center of the palm, Lao Gan, thumb in the center, and we're gonna breathe in to the Lao Gan and breathe out to release, relax. Lao Gan, the heart protector. Good for anxiety, nervousness, motion sickness, gentle pressure as you breathe in. And gentle release on the breath out. That's a wonderful self meditation when you are feeling a little anxious. Slow breathing through the nose into the belly. Breathe out, just relax and go to the other hand. Center of the palm, Lao Gan. If you have problems going to sleep at night, this is a good way to start. Every breath out, release the worries, the tension. Relaxing deeper with each breath out. Okay, next point is Hegu, the fleshy point between the thumb and index finger. I press as I breathe in. And relax on the breath out. This is good for toothaches, constipation, dehydration, hangovers. And the other side. And Passover had one sip of wine and that was, that was it. My head went, it was too much for me, way even one sip. <laughs> okay, the next point, three finger scouts over. You have the wrist line, one, two, three. That bottom point, neguan, thumb goes behind it, wagwan, and we're going to breathe in as you gently press in. And breathe out to release. And this is good for when you're feeling queasy and uneasy. Gentle pressure, breathe in. Relax on the breath out. And the other side, three finger scalp sonar. One, two, three. I have the inner neguan. The outer point is wagwan. I'm going to focus on the outer point wagwan. 
is your sitting hug his smile and just breathe into your walk on, which is an, um, like a thermostat. Um, it regulates the heat in the body. Gentle pressure breathing. Relaxing on the breath out. And with your right arm, um, you're gonna, left hand is thumb is gonna follow your right thumb to the crease of the elbow to cheese it. And I gently press in and cheese it and release. This is the lung point, good for regulating the lungs, for any breathing problems, good for tendonitis and fevers. Then go just beyond the tendon, right in front of the elbow bone is a probiotic point on the large intestine meridian, bringing more healthy flora to your gut. Keep your relaxed breathing as you do this. Then with your right hand, follow the left thumb to the inner crease of the elbow to cheese in. The lung point, gentle pressure, breathe in. Gentle pressure, release on the breath out. Think of beyond the tendon to the probiotic point. Okay, now your index finger is gonna to come to the U of the collar. So you have the collarbone, it's that little U in the middle. Thumb goes to the end of the collarbone by the shoulder. Then we divide each bone in half. It should be directly over your nipple. Index finger hook on top, like a hanger. Thumb hooks below, weapon above, chihu below. And you circle your elbows, this is good for cough asthma, sore throat, and hiccups. And try to reverse it. And relax and lose your breathing if it's a little fuller. Mine certainly is. Lovely. Okay, our next point is the knees. So if I create a right angle with my fingers and I put the thumb on top of the knee, I have that right angle between the thumb and index finger. Then I'm gonna tilt my middle finger over the shin bone. Now, from the shin bone, I'm gonna then, that level I'm going to then open again to my right angle. So that point where the third finger is, is Zhu San Li. Zhu San Li is a digestive point and it's good for digestion, it's good for the knees, it's good for insomnia, it's good for many things. But it's great if you've eaten too much. So at your Easter meal, if you eat too much and you said, oh, shouldn't have had that, and slip your hands down under the table, create that right angle, then find the shin bone, and then just go about one inch out from the shin. And that is your point. And smile, especially if you have family around and you're going, oh, just smile and say, you're gonna be fine. Just breathe into it and this point is going to help you. Okay, our next point. I think I have to put a pillow so you can see where I'm talking about. Three finger scouts on her over the ankle bone. My right hand over the left leg. So my left thumb is going over my right index finger just behind the bone. I'm going to find an owie point. And this is Sanyin Zhao. Very important point where kidney, liver, spleen join. And this is the point that we've talked about when you look up to the full moon with the right arm and you gather the full moon's energy, we bring it down to Sanyin Jiao and then we move it on. So um, we're not there in the form yet, but that is, oh, but that's what we're doing. Then next point we wanna do, 
is on the bottom of the foot, you'll check. So it's in between the ball, the big toe and the other foot, you know, other foot, other toe. And um, this area here is the first point on the kidney meridian. And this is the point when we look up to the full moon, we're going to, with your knee bent, if you're seated, seated you may be able to touch behind the foot and in front of the toe. So this point here, I can only do it when I'm seated. So um, you can imagine it. So I'm gonna gather chi and bring it here. Then my other hand creates a claw at Schweppen above the collar. And then I'm going to flap my wings three times. So either I flap by up and down, push forefoot or I circle. So the left hand elbow will go back, the right will go forward. Depending, if you're new, just flap your wings. There's too much to learn in this. Okay, so let's go to the other side. So uh, let's go to three fingers, my right foot, my left hand, above the um, ankle bone, three fingers, thumb goes above there. So I find my owie point. And that's a point when we look at the full moon, we'll gather chi to there and move it on. But when we were doing, so that's that point. But now if you come to the ball of the foot underneath and on top, your yung chin. So when we look at the full moon and the form, creating that big circle like we worked on last week, and then we bring it down. Um, I did something wrong. Okay, my right hand is here, I forgot. My right hand's here, my left hand creates a circle. And then my left hand goes down to touch here if you're able, and usually we're not able, so we touch our knee. And then you flap your wings three times or circle. Okay, and then we push the chi away, one foot far, and then we open up the heel and We'll do the standing, but I just wanted to give you the points so you know where we are with our points. Okay. Um, any other points? Yes. Um, third finger, yin tang. Yin tang is the third eye. And we're going to press it, yin tang, and wipe away any tension and rub it out at Taiyang, the temple area. So from yin tang, we gently press out and release. Yin Tang to Taiyan. Then we come to Jing Ming, bright eye point, just under the tear duct area. We massage here, wipe away any um, allergy under the eyes or any tears. We just sort of wipe them away, massage and wipe away, opening up the tear duct. Then we come to the outer corner of the nose, Yin Xiang, welcome fragrance point. We massage this outer point. And then we create a great big clown smile. This opens up the olfactory, really allowing you to breathe better even during allergy season. Then two fingers go above and below the lips. The other hand supports the chi. This is good for toothaches and gum diseases. And the other side. Then we'll pinch release the jaw, the chin area, any tension you may have in the lymph node area. And then put your index finger under the ear, open, close the jaw, you know you're in the right place. Middle finger over the ear, you're flapping. And now you're gonna make faces like Halloween, loosen up the jaw, make any monster masks and faces and sounds and just let go of any tension. Loosen it all up. Make as many funny faces as you can to loosen up tension that we hold without even knowing it. Ah, I make your sounds. Oh, be as crazy as you want to be. Ah, I can't hear it, so you can make your own sounds. Yeah. And then you're going to massage your earlobes. We have acupressure points in the ears connected to the entire body. So massaging the ears, you give good sheet to all the parts. And then we have the inner crevices. Massage those areas. 
Then we take two fingers scouts on her, the ear in between, and we're gonna fluff good chi up. We don't wanna pull chi down, we wanna lift it up. And then shake out any toxic negative energy as loose as a goose, let it go, let it go. Whoa. And then just sit, inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. And we're gonna take the palms and rub them together. And gently place them hovering over the eyes. And we're going to circle the chi around the eyes seven times. Relax breathing. Then gather chi under the chin and seven times, we're gonna wash face comb hair seven times, creating a protective halo around you. The first couple times you can let go of any stagnant energy that may get caught in your body and mind and spirit. And then four more flow it, fluid, just let it flow, protective energy around you. Smiling energy rises, protective energy all around. Filling up with joy. The next time, let the chi just flow down the back, down the spine, down the legs, into the earth and roots below. And let the arms float out to the side, elbows come down as we gather chi to the hair, chi height like a halo. And very slowly, our healing palms give chi to every cell of your body, illuminating every cell as you relax the mind. Strengthen the heart. Nourish the body. Place the hands on the belly as we hug his smile. And take six slow breaths in and out. And when you're ready, let the arms just rest on the thighs and softly, gently open your eyes from the inside out. Hmm. Hopefully you feel a little more relaxed, a little more balanced, a little more gently energized. So I wanna go over the new movement that we'll be doing today, which is called, um, in your book, it is wrong what's written. Number 22 says, right weeding and left weeding hands. But it's really weaving, like way or waving, like clouds waving, waving clouds, sort of like a cloud hand. So what we do here, um, actually, I'm going to bring you back to number 20. Well, yeah, I, we have to backtrack. Uh, we're gonna go from 10, turning hands over. So I want you to get that stretch. And then we're going to bend forward, give chi to the center. We lift chi up and bring it to the outside. The left foot push down. Lift the hands up knee high, the outside, the right foot push down, slide in the middle, and push your arms one foot far and create an umbrella. Now with the weight on your right foot, I know we're seated, so this is a little different. Your weight on the right foot, right hand comes under left elbow and you're on your left ball of the foot. And as I put all the weight on the left foot, my right hand gives good chi from the right elbow to the left finger past the fingertips. 
the left hand gives chi from the elbow, past the fingertips, and I come on the left heel. Then, let's see, forward and back. Then my left hand gives good chi to chwep in above the collar. My right hand goes down, giving chi to the left foot, the right foot, create a great big circle, come up, lower the shoulder. I'm looking at my right hand. And my right hand is shining a light on my left foot. So I'm going to bring the chi down towards that foot. Now, if you were able to touch it, then the thumb would go in between the ball, the big toe, and then we would circle our wings three times, push forefoot once, two, three, you can touch the knee or the foot. Then you put the toe down, and then you open the left heel so it's wider and you push the right hand out, pushing the chi one foot far. Then turn the hand back. As you come center, you're gonna lift up the chi in the right hand, create a claw to right weapon. Now with the weight on the left foot, you're going to, your left hand gives chi to the right foot, the left foot, out to the side, all the way up. The left hand has a light shining upon the right big toe. You can either go to the toe or the knee as you go down towards the toe or the knee and you push the forefoot three times or you circle the right elbow back and the left elbow forward three times. Then on your left heel, you're gonna bring the toe in parallel and your left hand is going to push the chi out one foot far. And as you turn the left palm forward, number 20, we're gonna scoop the chi up as you come upright. And the left hand is as high as the heart and the right hand's gonna come down to the lower dantian. So when we turn the hands, we're gonna give chi to the heart once, this goes down, this comes up, twice, this goes down, this comes up. On the third time, the left hand comes down to the waist. And so now number 22 is waving hand like cloud. So the weight's on the left foot, my right, ball of the foot and toe is gonna to come forward with my right hand going forward. I'm gonna look at my right hand waist tight all the way behind me. I turn the palm up as I look forward. So I turn the hand inward, the palm goes up, the shoulder goes down. Then I bring my right head to Shen Shu at the kidney. I step on the right foot and my left toe glides forward with the left hand waist high. I look all the way behind me at the right hand. I look forward, my left palm comes up, my left head touches Shen Shu, put the weight on the left foot. Now my right hand comes out again with the right foot, waist high. I look all the way behind. I look forward, palm goes up. My right head touches the kidney and I step on that foot and the left foot and left hand go forward. I open to the side, both arms to the side, and then that's where we're gonna to close today. That's number 20. And it's gonna be easier when we do the standing, but I wanted to give you the layout. So, um, so what the weaving hand like cloud, you're going, let's come standing because this is too hard to do sit, seated. So my right, I'm going to face this way so you can see me sideways. Both hands are at the waist. My right ball of the foot comes forward and my right hand goes forward. I look all the way behind me. I look forward, pump up, head to touch a shen shoe. I pivot the right heel in as I transfer the weight. Now it's the ball of the baby toe that's leading. I'm not on the whole foot. The ball of the baby toe leads. Yong Shen is open, the left hand goes forward. I look all the way behind me. I look forward, left palm comes up. Take a touch of Shen Shu, and I transfer the weight to the left foot. Right hand, ball of the foot leads, baby toe leads, hand waist high. Look all the way behind, palm up. Take a touch of Shen Shu, pivot the heel, transfer the weight. Now the left foot and left hand, waist high, go forward. And then the last time we just go out to the side, step up and close. 
So what essentially we're doing is we're leading, we're opening the chi at the bottom of the foot, yung chin, by going on the outside of the foot. So that when I slide my, I'm on the ball of my right baby toe, as I slide forward, my big toe is up in the air. Don't lift it high, but it's, it's up. I'm my right hand, I'm sending the chi out. And then I'm looking at my right hand all the way behind. I look forward as my palm comes up. Hey, who touches shin, shoe, pivot the heel in and then step on the right foot. The left baby toe and left hand go forward. Look all the way behind you. Look forward, come up. Hey, good to shin, shoe, pivot the heel, transfer the weight. Right baby toe and look into the right palm, waist tie. Look all the way behind you. Look forward, palm goes up. Hey, good to shin, shoe, pivot to the heel. One last time. When the left foot goes forward, we open to the side, right arm to the side. We step up and close at the hair chi height. So now we're going to do it from the beginning to that point, and then we'll go through the whole form. So here we are, standing in grace, have you smile. Your lao gun palms open, chi flowing, and we give chi to one chi out as you send it down the outside of the legs toward the earth. We lift up a chi ball in front of you. We let it go up to the heaven, hips forward, lift the heels if you're able. Then you lower the heels as you close your wings. Give chi to the lower dantian. Fingers drop down as you draw chi to the middle dantian. You hold a ball of loving energy. Fingers are up and out. Activate the core as you go forward. We push the chi behind you as you come upright. Our fingers create a claw. We bring it in the kidneys and the heels, and then we release negative energy out. And we repeat that. We look at the palms and loving energy fingers are up and out, activate the core, relax the shoulders, then push the chi behind you, create the claw, hang your shen chu, and release. Now as we lift the chi up under the chin, elbows stay down, we give chi to the face, the third eye, to the crown. We open the elbows and interlace fingers, give me more blood chi to the brain, turn over, lift all the way up. And now we're gonna barely bend. Activate the core, she comes center. Lift the hands up to the outside of the left foot, push down. Lift the chi up the outside of the right foot, push down. Slide in the middle and press the chi out one foot far, create an umbrella, bend the knees all the way down the right foot, pivot on the ball of the left foot, right hand under left elbow. Rock forward on the left foot, give chi from the elbow past the fingertips. Rock back on the right foot, give chi from the elbow, pass the fingertips, flex the foot, left hand creates a claw above the collar and shrapen. Right hand sends chi to the left foot, right foot. As you're coming up, lower the shoulder, the palm shines a light on the left foot, but bend the right knee and touch your left knee. And flap your wings three times, one, two, three. Put that foot down. As I push the chi with the right hand, the left heel opens up wider, parallel. Turn the palm back center, bend the elbow, scooping the chi up with the right hand. Come to the right trip and above the collar, bend the left knee. Left hand gives chi to the right foot, left foot. Come all the way up to, ta-da, there's a light in the left hand shining off on the right toe, but we're going to bring it to the right knee. Catch the knee and flap the wings three times, one, two. Three, pivot on the heel, toe comes in as you push the chi one foot far. As you come back center, we're going to scoop the chi up to come upright. As you do this, the right hand comes down the center, left hand comes out. We're going to give chi to the heart three times, once, twice. On the third time, this hand goes down, get ready for a new move. Right hand, right foot come out. Look all the way behind you. Look forward, pump up. Hey, do shen shu. Pivot the heel in, tramp to the weight. Left hand and foot come forward, waist high. Look at the palm. Look all the way behind you. Pump up, look forward. Hey, do touch your shen shu. Tramp the weight. Right hand, right foot. Slide forward, waist high. All the way behind you. Look forward, pump up. 
Take it to Shinshu. Last time, as you come forward, we're going to open to the side. Step up and close. <sighs> That's the end of our formal education. I'm going to turn some music on. We're going to do the first set together for those who know it. And then um, those who want to do the second set, I will step out and uh, those that know it will continue without me. Um, so here we go. Let's put some music on. Oh, let me first uh, stop the recording for our formal class. <laughs>